Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Miranda with story time. Today's story is called The Little Squash Seed and it's written and illustrated by Gayla Dowdy Seal. Imagine for a moment what a squash seed did say when the seed packet was opened by a gardener one day. Mmm. Feel that warm breeze? What's that I hear over there? Look, I see a whirly gig twirling its arms in the air. The seed heard a man whistling and gathering tools from a shed. What a great day for planting, the gardener said. Suddenly, there was dark as the seed was slid into the deep blue pockets of the gardener's bibs. Past the flowers and birdhouse, the gardener walked with quick strides, giving the seeds in his pocket a short, bumpy ride. The ground had been tilled, so the gardener picked up his hoe, and as a skilled craftsman, he carved out a long row. He placed the seeds side by side in a nice, in a line nice and straight. Oh, said the squash seed, this cool dirt feels just great. When more dirt was piled onto the seeds, wow, what a fun place. I thought dirt would be boring. Look, a worm's near my face. I spy lots of nutritious things all around and I think I will like it under the ground. Then, just as one seed was settling into its bed, whoosh, water came sloshing down over its head. The water feels good and it's softening my skin, the little seed reported to his other seed friends. Before long, roots were below and a sprout was poking up through the dirt. All that pushing and shoving, said the seed, and I didn't get hurt. He's starting to grow. That warm sunshine feels great. I like to stretch out my leaves. So look down here. They're down here with their roots and their leaves are popping up. And so do the peppers and carrots and peas. The gardener had grandchildren who helped pull up the weeds. He told them old stories as they sat and picked beans. One day they brought blocks and shovels and such and played near the garden with toy cars and toy trucks. They constructed a city out of dirt piles and rocks. They made bridges, tunnels, railways, and docks. In the midst of the garden stood a tall fellow stuffed full of hay. His purpose was to keep all the hungry birds away. Other creatures came to visit the garden sometimes. They'd crawl in the leaves and sun on the vines. Meanwhile, under the dirt, the little squash seed had changed. Helped by the food, the sunshine, and the rain, the stalks had grown stout and the roots had grown deep, and now just a part of the plant was the little squash seed. One day the sky darkened above the squash plant. The wind howled, thunder boomed, and rain poured at a slant. The plants in the garden blew this way and that. Would their leaves be torn off? Would they be knocked down flat? After the storm had blown over and the clouds had moved on, the squash, seed, the squash plant stood tall and was healthy and strong. Hooray for these strong roots. And this you should know, roots are the foundation of all plants that grow. A few days later, the boys took a peek. A few baby squash were nestled under the leaves. How amazing it is that a small dried up seed can produce a vegetable that's so healthy to eat. They watched each day as the baby squash grew and the gardener thought about his grandchildren too. He thought about how they were small not long ago and how they would be grown in a few years or so. Where would life take them? What would they be? In many ways, they were like the little squash seeds. They had started out small, then changed a little each day. With their strong family roots, some hard work and some play, 
They will grow up to be helpful, productive, and wise, and sow seeds of goodness all of their lives. Miraculous things happen when a seed is given a chance to be cared for by nature in a gardener's glance. More than two dozen squash were produced by just one little seed. About how many folks do you think that will feed? He makes plants for man to cultivate, bringing forth food from the earth. How many are your works, O Lord? In, wis in wisdom you made them all. Psalms 104, 14, and 24. So the little squash seed grew into a big plant, and so did the boys. And the grandfather watched the seeds grow just like he watched his grandchildren grow. It's your job now to illustrate something from the story. I'll see you next time.